Hi, I'm Allison the Crocheter. And I'm Vivian the Knitter, and this is Keep Calm and Carry Yarn. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 104 of Keep Calm and Carry Yarn. This is a knitting and crochet podcast hosted by me, Allison, and my mom, Vivian. I'm coming at you from Scotland. And I'm recording from Michigan. You might know me from Pearl and Plum, where I sell project bags for knitters and crocheters. And my daughter is the fabulous publisher of Morit, the independent magazine for crocheters. Thank you for joining us. Whether you're listening on a podcast app or watching along on YouTube. Hello, everybody. Hey, everyone. Our, I've, I've, uh, our intro is in a smooth, we're, 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 we're easing into it, but no. yeah. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Hello, hello, hello. I have a very slightly different angled background. I've got more of um, the window, which you might not be able to see yet on this side of me. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, I've got a little bit more. Little bit. Uh, I've done a little bit more decorating, so you can see my uh, my my bunting. my bunting and some of the things that I had. In I was gonna say the stuff hanging behind you was that. Have you put that up recently? Yeah, after you know between this episode and last, it wasn't there last time. Yeah, so we got that's some... all the stuff that I had from um, that I had in my studio in Virginia. I did add a couple mm. of things. Well, I right. I recognize there's the like colorful watercolor sort of prints of uh, the Tower Bridge, Big Ben, London Eye. What's and then there's a map of sky. Yeah, is that what that is. Let's say post. Uh, is that just a postcard? It's a postcard. A postcard. Oh. And then and then what's the one in the bottom? That's the little card of Port Tree. You can see the ah. see the little uh, Airbnb that we stayed at. What, the, the oh yeah, because we stayed because yeah, there's like the yeah. yeah, you get the the picture of the harbor and uh -huh. then the colorful buildings, and we stayed in the little pink yep. one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So um, those are the two sky. additional ones that I had. I just uh, was it washi tape the 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 frames, little just plain white frames, and I just washi tape. Um, ah, and I then see. you can see, you can't tell from the video I don't think but the little one of Port Tree is brighter yeah, than is it... Big Ben even though it's the same um oh, washi tape. tape but because it's, it's faded fade, being faded yeah I see hmm. oh that's a nice top tip for like yeah just jazzing up your your frames because they're all nice and colorful yeah yep that's what I did so nice um we don't have any new thank yous from our Ravelry group but um, I have a thank you for, or a hello, thank you, for Heather, who I met at the Fiber Expo in Ann Arbor last weekend. Mm. And she told me her Ravelry name. And when she said it, I said, oh, that sounds familiar. But I wrote it down somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, so uh -huh. I'm not sure what her Ravelry name was. She was helping um, her friend at one of the stalls and I'm not sure which stall it was because I didn't write it down. <laughs> <laughs> so hi Heather. Oh, oh and, and, and she recognized me, mm -hmm. which is, I didn't expect because I was wearing a mask and mm -hmm. I'm like, nobody's going to know me here. I didn't have any like any swag or anything. I was just, just going as a normal everyday person. Not that podcasters aren't normal, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So uh, she, we, you know, I, I went with Knitter Chow, and then we were just walking around, and all of a sudden I heard my name being called out, and she was standing in front of, in front of me, a few yards away, and I looked up, and she's like, "I know you, I know you," and I was like, "Hello," mm -hmm. we said hello and everything, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, Ooh. let me show my." And she's, I was like, I'm wearing a, a mask. How the heck did you recognize me? And, she's, and I was wearing my t shirt that I wore the last episode, the cake ball cake hang. And ball and hang. Uh, skein, skein, yeah. And I was wearing that t shirt. So she recognized the t shirt first and then right. looked up and, like, oh, that was, And then recognized yeah. the top of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so nice. that was nice. nice. That was very nice. Um, mm hmm. 
Shall we move right into our whips? Sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I can go first because mine's pretty boring. Okay. So we can get that out of the way. I'm still working on my archive cow project, which is my Meg's wrap. Mm -hmm. But I now have two pieces all attached, sewn together. Nice. So those are my, my, that's my original sort of triangular trapezoid shape. Uh -huh. And then my second one, which has the squared off end. Now that I've got it all sewn, like the two pieces sewn together, I was originally going to do three pieces. Mm -hmm. So another one of the end, but I don't think that's going to be long enough. Because okay. basically, what, the center of my first trapezoid will be the middle, mm -hmm. and it'll be that long. Uh -huh. So if I want to wrap it around, it kind of only just goes to the back, and I don't have any yeah. hanging in the front. Yeah. Um, so that'd be fine. It just means that my, I think I still have enough yarn. So you're going to um, make Because I'm only just. Another trapezoid? Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, another trapezoid like the first one, mm -hmm. and then hopefully that will be long enough then. The last piece might not even be as big as the second piece, mm -hmm. my, my squared off piece. Mm -hmm. Like I may, I might be able to square it off sooner, mm -hmm. you know, like it doesn't need potentially to be that long. Um, but yeah, so. So you're basically not even making. I, yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked at the matter <laughs> <laughs> since I printed it out into the first um, triangle. And then I've got um, the start of my second piece, my third piece. Um yeah, so that was. I even have the printed. I have the printed pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. So it is in here. I just yeah. I haven't looked at it because there's just not any point anymore. <laughs> um, there you go. Meg's wrap by Julie Blaga Blagajevich. Um, Blagajevich. Blag. Yeah. Um. We should make like so, a blooper yeah, like reel a, of just you pronouncing slash mispronouncing things in different yeah. ways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my first. I still have a little bit of the mu first mustard. Oh, I still have, have the whole second one. one. Yeah, whole second. Yeah, and then these are both the second. Mm -hmm. I've got um, onto the second balls of the charcoal and the okay. lavender lilac. And bam, that's it. Oh, oh, actually, no, before I go on, I will say, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the ends are curling, the edges are curling. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that will just block out or if that will, I'll just have to live with that. But because I've, you know, how one piece is like this, you know, front is front and the other side is the back is front. So is it, it curling It's curling in ways? opposite directions. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So depending on which piece it is, so mm. yeah, they curl in different directions um and it's this the side where i'm doing the increases oh so it's not curling on the other side no it's only curling mm. Mm. Mm, that's interesting that i don't know or maybe it's curling on, well increases or decreases well, it's like you know, it's it's not curling on the on the the regular ends, mm -hmm. but you don't really have any exposed ends uh, because those get, um, okay. you know, the actual active because mm -hmm. they're at an angle and then they're on the inside of the scarf. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, hmm. but I'm happy with it. Nice. Now I'm done. Now you can. Okay, I my my whip situation is very complicated. I'm not sure. Oh, anyway, so um. My, I guess this is my archive cow project, is the Grand Forks, which is in North the Dakotas. Dakotas. North Dakota? I looked it up, like right after we recorded, and I've already forgotten. I think it's in North, North Dakota. Um, I haven't gotten that much done, but I did separate, and it looks like a child's sweater, but my mom is a lot smaller <laughs> than me. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot you were making it for for Hawaii. Uh, um, so I've oops, my chair is spinning. Um, I separated the sleeves, and I'm you know maybe halfway down the body. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. a circular yoke, circular color worked yoke. Um, so we've got cream color and a bit of 
the red burgundy color and then a, a light brown um almost like a taupey taupey brown color yeah i, I quite i quite like that yeah. sort of taupey it's not I my it's I not you know something anything that i would pick for myself but i think it looks good together mm. i would wear this yeah no i think it looks i would pick it for myself <laughs> i know you would. more my colors <laughs> um so i'm just gonna say now oh i feel like you were going through a phase or maybe because this is this sweater is for somebody else but you were making a lot of circular color woke sweaters and fingering weight yarns whereas i feel like you've made a bunch more in heavier weights in the last like year or so yeah because they're all for, for other people <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i don't really because like, it's that one the one for your sister the one for cousins yeah so i don't really wear a lot of i mean i do have some um worst away sweaters that i made myself they are mostly cardigans um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I generally don't make pullovers for myself. Yeah, I mean worse weight. I guess because you run warm, so it's like if it's gonna be thick, then it has to be open. Yeah, and if it's a pullover, then it needs to be thin. Yeah, so then I could at least, at the very least, take it off when I get too hot. And with a pullover, if I take it off, and you know, then I'll be too cold because then I'll just have like a t-shirt or something. So, mm -hmm. so this is by Cheryl Chow. Um, and it's from an old interweave magazine that I have. So that's that. Um, so I started <laughs> another whip last time called Twilla or Twyla, but there's two L's, T-W-Y-L-L-A by Rachel Coopy. I ripped that out. Oh, the socks. The socks. I ripped it out because I wasn't liking how the, co the colors were playing with each other or not playing with each other. And I started again with some different colors. I still still wasn't liking it. Um, I think I ended up starting it three different times with three different colors because I'm like determined only to use stash yarn and I just didn't like any of them. So I ended up frogging all of them. So that is not even a project anymore. So I started a new project called All Point South. All Point South. And it is a shawl, no, it's a poncho slash cowley thing by Casapinka, mm -hmm. and it's been on my radar for a while. Um, so, what does it look like? It looks like, um, it looks like this. Okay, so it's pretty poncho shaped. Yeah, it's pretty poncho shaped and... But with like a slouchy... With a slouchy neck. And she says that... And it's pretty funny because she says, uh, if we call this a poncho, then I will have designed a poncho. I'm a mother to a 14-year-old. Do you want me to be allowed home at night? So I guess... Because <laughs> ponchos are not cool. <laughs> yeah. So I it's guess. a All Point South is a pullover shawl. <laughs> and rebranding the poncho. Yeah, and it says it's meant to be draped over the shoulders to some degree. Uh, no, uh, blah blah blah. But it's funny because she's like, "Don't wear the the V pointing in the front. You have to wear it to the side." Yeah, they're, they're like styled where it's like a little bit angled yeah. to the side. So that's what I start. So I do the same thing with that, where I started it three times. And not liking the color and, and just like I don't know I just can't settle with anything so I finally 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 um I'm still gonna rip part of this out but I figured I would show show people before I rip it out mm -hmm. so so I have this gray that I actually got at the festival which I'll, we'll talk about later um and it's like a nice silvery gray hand dyed with a little bit of speckling mm -hmm. not too much and i have this um, malabrigo sock which is like in the colors i love it's got blue and turquoise and everything and as i'm knitting it i'm looking at it like it looks like everything else i like <laughs> half of the things i knit yeah that's because you like those colors <sighs> so she says wearing a blue and gray top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know it's 
kind of ridiculous. So I decided I'm going to rip out the blue. I'm still going to use the blue. It'll be the th instead of the second mm -hmm. color, it'll be the third color. And I'm going to use this pink, which I ripped out of my um, uh, Find Your Fade shawl. Oh, uh, Find Your Fade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so it'll have pink, pink and gray stripes up top. And then one of the bands, one of the lacy or... I don't know if it's actually lace. Lace bands, I mean solid bands, mm -hmm. will be blue. So, so it'll be mostly pink and gray. It'll with a um, oh no, actually no. I'm I'm looking at it. There's there's quite a lot of stripes, so it's yeah. Like, but but this sort of like narrow. So there'd be like narrow narrow gray stripes and by the blue neck. stripes. Yeah, and then a big pink section, and then some more gray and blue, and then blue, gray, pink. Yeah narrow blue and pink gray something like that pink. yeah so that, that's <laughs> what i decided um so this will get ripped so yeah five 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 rows will, will get ripped down um mm -hmm. i think i think i'm i'm gonna settle that who knows i mean next time we record we'll see if it, if i even stick with these colors this is a sh what colors were you going to use before i had a white what you have now i had a white and then i had Oh, God. oh, I had a, I had, no, it was a hand-dyed um, light blue with a another hand-dyed with had, like, had a lot of blues and stuff like that, but you couldn't see, like, the stripes. It looked, it, you couldn't, the stripes weren't distinct enough, so, mm -hmm. so, and I had pretty much, I had, like, all the stripes done. I was starting to do the increase, and I said, <laughs> through it actually that was the second time the first time I had a white thing but then I was like I don't want that much white close to my neck it's just gonna get dirty really fast so and, and also the other the other issue is that the whites that I this is def the whites that I had were definitely a fingering weight and these yarns that you know that I was picking to go with it were more of a light fingering and it just you can feel like when it was striping with the the white i can feel the just the difference between the white part mm -hmm. and the and the hand dyed yarn so that was my other issue yeah. and i'm sure it would have been fine but once you got to the, like the wider binds wider what did i say the wider bands i was I was afraid that it'll be too like wavy. Well, I don't know. It was just I just <laughs> I just <laughs> okay. So yeah, so that's why I, I I just can't settle on anything. And hopefully, this will be this will be it. Hmm. Um, so I'm looking at a close up of some of the stitches, and yeah, it doesn't really look lacy, but like sort of textured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of them have like a textured like. Of zigzag or yeah yes what you said um yeah that's what i have going on and um is that gonna be an archive cal project well it i mean it it, it fits in yes. with the archive I see. cal yeah. theme but let's see mm -hmm. which i finish i'll probably finish the sweater first i i realized mm -hmm. that I'm going to be in New Jersey in the beginning of June, so it'll be nice if oh. I can bring it with me. It finished. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, well, I mean, yeah. so there hasn't been, there's been more ripping or frogging than there has been actual knitting. So, no, actual progress in my knitting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have more knitted up than you did last time because last time you just had a little cuff, and this time you have a bit of a shawl. Yeah, this time, <laughs> which I, is this time I have like a cuff. cowl, a cowl. Yeah, and I've done this cowl like three times now, and I did that cuff <laughs> and then some like three times. So <laughs> I don't know. I just can't. I can't. So you didn't even use stash yarn because you bought that gray at that. Festival. <laughs> but the rest of it is dash yarn. The rest of it is dash yarn. I mean, this is 
this yeah. the the malabrigo is like deep stash it's like mm -hmm. really old stash and then this yeah. pink is definitely stash it's not only is it stash yeah. yarn but it's frog, frog yarn. yarn yeah and so yeah <laughs> Mostly stash yarn. Two thirds of it is stash yarn. Yeah. Um, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, that's all I got. Um, right. Well, will we do the BuzzFeed quiz? Yes, BuzzFeed. Um. So it says, "This quiz will reveal which Doctor Who companion you are." And yeah, apparently you just told me that there there was a new episode or special mm -hmm. on, this past on Easter weekend. Sunday, Easter yeah. weekend. Ah, uh, yeah, which I didn't even realize because I just don't watch live TV, so I just, I don't find out about things that have been on, like, BBC unless I'm just happy to be flicking through, I, like, you know, mm -hmm. the iPlayer um, mm -hmm. catch-up TV. I was like, oh, that was on. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, I knew because your sister told me and also I, there was nothing going on. Other than, I'll talk about that later. Um, so, but who'd you get? I got Mickey Smith, which did you not get? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. okay, so it says, you're brave, caring, and protective. You're still trying to find your place in the world, but you're having fun along the way. You're incredibly supportive of your loved ones. Cool. I think that that's very spot on for you. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got Bill Potts. That's, you know, huh? Do you remember her? Yeah. She, she, one of the newer yeah. ones. You're yeah. confident and curious. Sometimes your self-doubt gets the better of you, but your courage helps you come out on top every time. The self-doubt part. Yeah. <laughs> I would say so. You think so? Yeah, like the whole like my me ripping out things and ripping out things. Uh yeah, That's I guess. Sure. I guess I was thinking about it in a bigger way. And who sees their mothers as being full of self-doubt? <laughs> You're perfect the oh. way you are. <laughs> um anyway so yeah we're both doctor who fans um well let's see we don't have two more questions but what about how would you describe yourself from flirty shy chatty spunky imaginative or curious i said curious i did mm -hmm. too which from the description of bill that sounds like that's like the bill yeah word. What about your room interior? They all look really nice. And that's like a bunch of pictures of bedrooms. Yes. Uh, they do look nice. I feel like a lot of the times when they show you like interiors uh -huh. of places, there's like a few that I'm like, nah, I wouldn't want to live there. They but yeah, they do really all look nice. I would have any uh -huh. of those. Bedrooms. But though, though some of them like the bold and inviting, I don't see that that's very bold, but it's inviting. But I didn't pick that because I don't generally like bold interiors. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did pick warm and bright, mm -hmm. and all you can see is the pillow and the the vase of roses. What? Or, uh huh. I went for simple and cozy, which is kind of the same. You can see that there's like a plant mm -hmm. and a tartanese pillow. Pillow. Yeah, uh -huh. but I will say, if I were staying at a hotel. I would want it to be sleek and modern. Like that picture is like <laughs> if I walked into a hotel room and it was kind of those vibes, I'd be happy with that. Mm. What about, I mean, this is so not up either of our alleys, but what car did you pick? <laughs> I know none of them. They didn't have the family minivan. Um, but no. I picked the VW Bug because it's cute. Okay. It's like a... A vintage yeah. one and it also had a vintage mustang tesla oh i don't camaro camaro camaro, camaro? <laughs> <laughs> literally not a car person g wagon and jeep um i went for a tesla because you know why just not? because well also you know i've been waiting for self-driving cars for the last Basically, since I've started driving, I'm like, I want somebody, to, something else, somebody else, somebody anything else to drive, drive me. me around. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next question, I had a hard time picking the favorite movie genre between action, thriller, mystery, rom com, fantasy, or drama. Yeah, because I like we like all of them, but they didn't yeah, have. I, I have. Um, sci fi. No, they didn't have sci fi, and if they had put horror. 
I I would have compl- that one would have been completely next mm-hmm. for me. But it, I mean, thriller maybe is a little bit like that, but not quite. No, because that's what I picked. I picked thriller. I'm pretty sure I picked mystery okay. the first time, but I still ended up with the the same the, the same yeah. result. Yeah, I, I went for action because I feel like I feel like if I'm well, I guess like favorite movie genre. I was thinking more like sometimes when I'm just want to put something on, but I don't really want to think about it. It's either a rom com or a- an action because movie. Because it's mindless. Cause I feel like with it's action mindless. movies, yeah, because yeah, it's like action movies. Like the plot is good bu- guy, bad guy. Good guys are going to win. Like that's all you got to know. <laughs> like, good guy prevails. If you leave the room for ten minutes and come back, <laughs> yeah, you know what's going on. Did you want to do your favorite artist? Because none of them are my favorite. Yeah, well, when I first started reading, I mean, when I saw the question, I thought it was going to be like, you know, like fine mm-hmm. art, painting artists, uh. but they were music. <laughs> so the options were BTS, Lil Nas X, Harry Styles, Blackpink, Taylor Swift, and Megan the uh-huh. Stallion. Never heard uh, of. The only one that I haven't heard of it's... was um, Blackpink. Don't know who that is. You, who, what's Megan the Stallion? Like a... She's She's a... I never heard of it. <laughs> I've heard of her. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I picked the one that you've never heard of, Blackpink. Ah, I picked Taylor Swift because they're a K-pop. Group. Uh, okay. I have heard of them. Maybe. Um, because, okay. Mm. Now, now I can think of them. No, I picked Taylor Swift because I knitted twelve dollars <laughs> with cardigan. So, oh, her yeah. cardigan. Yeah. Um, and then favorite video game. I mean, I'm trying to think what you would have picked. <laughs> Minecraft? No, I don't really play that. Mario yeah, Party? That's what I picked. <laughs> <laughs> I went for Among Us. Oh, I, fi- I figured you would. Yeah. I played a lot a lot of yeah. that, yeah, during lockdown. <laughs> um, that is cool. funny. Okay. Um, I have no FOs. Well, I don't really either. I have a non crochet FO, which I meant to talk about again. last week, but I didn't. Again. Yeah, again. But mm-hmm. it's oh, it's wool related. <laughs> it's felting, needle felting. Oh, I didn't know that you were working on that. Oh my gosh, how cute! Is it Hedwig? So no, so it's um, I must have talked about when I first got it, which must have been like the first year we did the podcast, maybe the first Christmas. Somebody uh-huh. got me this, um, or my brother in law got me this barn owl. Needle uh, felting uh, kit, cute from Hawthorne Handmade, and it's packed with British wool. Um, and yeah, I still have like a wad of some white wool and some gray wool and brown wool and yeah, I still have wads of wool. But the um, the owl is like a light brown, mm-hmm. and that was the softest. I think that was alpaca actually. Um. But yeah, so it came with like these like photo instructions on how to make it. I'm pretty sure I did talk about some podcasts because I think I talked about how I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I think because it, it just required like it's both technical and free form, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just it just wasn't the right balance for me. So. I don't know. He looks all right. His, and now that I'm looking at it in the screen, his eyes look a little uneven. But Yeah, he, like he's been drinking or something. <laughs> high on something. <laughs> yeah, drunk I think, owl. I think maybe because he's got like the little like white shiny bits of the, I think one of the eyes, like this eye, because mm. of the white bit is smaller. So if I just add a little bit of white, it might be uh-huh. better. Um, but I don't think I had like enough left over for the tail. The tail's a little thin, but it's it's there and you can see like the little like ridges yeah, in the tail. Nice. I did I did add like little like feathers to the wing instead of they they said to do like spots in the darker color, but I didn't really like oh. the way that looked. And in fact, it, they also said to do a light layer of the a really wispy layer of the gray on top of the brown. And uh-huh. I think it just makes it look like he's going gray, like he's graying, like an old man owl. <laughs> so I'm actually just in the middle of like peeling that off. Oh, um, okay. I also think maybe I didn't like felt it down enough. So it was, it was starting to pop back up. So mm-hmm. he was just looking really hairy. 
Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's done now. Probably. I've tried it. Needle felting's not really my thing. <laughs> he's very cute. Does he have a name? No. I also don't know if, like, how squishy he's supposed to be. Like, should I be felting him really tight? <laughs> how big like, is the, the instructions? How big is he supposed to be? Yeah, no, that, that's fair. I think it, oh, yeah. He's supposed to be 15 centimeters tall. Which, I think that's probably about what I've got him at. Uh-huh. Um, but, yes. Yeah, that is my FO. I just poke him a little. <laughs> <laughs> stabbing him. Yeah, stabbing him. I do have Yarny Bits and Bob. Mm-hmm. Um, you went to as the I men- yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I went to the Fiber Fest um, in Ann Arbor, and they have a spring and fall show. Mm. Um, it was at the Washtenaw Farm Council grounds. Uh, it was bigger than I thought. There was like two two barns full of of um of vendors, not as big as. Uh, New Hampshire Sheep and Wool but they have two shows so I was told that the fall show is a lot bigger I see and um, so I guess um, I did buy some stuff the the gray yarn that I I mentioned so this is I've already you know obviously I've already caked it up this it is oops AJHC Wolves doesn't really roll off the tongue, but it is um, <laughs> part of the Mythical Gods collection, and this color is called Artemis, Greek mm-hmm. goddess of hunting, and it's a uh, fingering weight. Well, I, th- I feel like it's more of a light fingering, um, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. They had a really nice rainbow wall of um, of of. Like they're, they're different yarn bases. Mm-hmm. This is their logo. The little cute little sheep on it. Um, and so I bought uh, two minis Ooh. in a gold color because I was thinking I was at that point I was still thinking that I was going to continue continue on with the Twilla sock, and I thought maybe right. I should just um, just follow the um, the pattern. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I ended up not doing that. So this, these are the, the minis. Um, I also bought a uh, self-striping sock from Vesper, no, from Knitterly Things. And this is the Vesper sock yarn and all of their um, uh, sock, the self-striping are usually made to order. So they have a, a oh, website okay. that I saw, and and I really like the way these striped up, and it's like, it, it just looks, it's just they did have samples of what they look like as, as socks, and you know they had the tubes, and I thought it was just amazing that this thing over here turns into self striping striped socks. How how wide were the stripes? They were probably a couple inches. Maybe oh. so depending. Well, some of them were a couple inches. This one, I think, is more like an inch. Um, okay. Quite a lot of colors in there. Yeah, got some. I didn't go with the the blue one because I was like, I have too much blue blue yarn. But I went with this one. Um, so those are the only um, yarn things I I picked up. I Can did buy non yarn things. I did buy some non yarn things. So I went to. I mean, I really controlled myself. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a stall called Behind the Pines, and they had a lot of, um, I, can't, I can't remember if they actually had yarn, but they had a lot of like yarn-related things, like stitch markers and little tins and stuff like that. And um, I bought these <laughs> cute little, uh, they are sheep earrings. But they mm-hmm. also have like the, the stitch marker. Uh, <clears throat> version and i got mm-hmm. i got these cute little tins this one has sweater wearing cats, cats. and um knitter <laughs> one of them's wearing a pair of glasses too <laughs> and there's yeah and she's knitting and then knitter chow 
uh, bought the last bigger, the, the, the bigger tin of the sweater wearing sheep. Ooh. So yeah, I couldn't resist that. Um, and then the last thing I bought was from Shepherd's Woodworking and they had all sorts of um, tools, like wooden tools for weaving and spinning um, and mm -hmm. some stuff that was something else. I think it was weaving. I, I, I didn't even know where any of this stuff was, but because um, Kathy does all of the above, weaving, spinning, and knitting, mm. um, she told me mm -hmm. exactly what it was. I got a, a, a what is this thing called? <laughs> An egg, a darning egg. I got a darning egg. There is even a, it's even signed SCW. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that means. But this is maple. And they've got like, they had different woods. It's uh -huh. really smooth. Like, super, yeah. super smooth. And that was my, it wasn't my final purchase. Uh -huh. But it's the last one. Um, because the final purchase was actually the sock, sock yarn. I didn't see that until we were on our way out. I was like, oh! <laughs> Self-striping sock yarn. <laughs> yeah. I love that stuff. Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, for my wallet mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um and that is it nice well i, have I don't else. i don't have any yarny bits and bobs today i don't even have any shop update because i haven't been sewing i've been okay. frogging i've been frogging <laughs> is what i've been doing <laughs> lots of frogging <laughs> yeah. well uh, why do my spiel then Spill away! Okay. You can find the show notes for this episode and every episode on our website, which is kcacypodcast.wordpress.com. You can follow us on Instagram at kcacypodcast, or my personal Instagram is Allison here, and my mom's is upstate underscore viv. If you would like to rate, subscribe, follow, comment, heart, favorite, review the podcast, you can do that wherever you listen to podcasts, as well as on YouTube. If you want to join the Ravelry group, just search for Keep Calm and Carry Yarn Podcast. We've got an Archive Cal thread there. And you can also participate in Archive Cal by using hashtag Archive KCAL 2022. Thank you for listening. And remember to keep calm and carry yarn. Bye. Bye.